Hey folks, thanks for tuning in, or clicking in, or however you got in. We're just glad you're here. We have the governor's take on the president's vaccine requirements, a concession for a condemned man, and the passing of the first black Auburn student. My name's Ike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey is no fan of President Biden's more aggressive approach to making more people take a COVID-19 vaccine. The president announced several new federal vaccine requirements on Thursday, including the one that will likely affect the most people, that all companies with more than 100 employees are ordered to require those workers to be vaccinated or be tested for COVID weekly. That's a rule being put into place by OSHA in the Department of Labor and will bring a penalty of $14,000 of violation. Also announced was an executive order requiring employees of the executive branch and contractors who do business with the federal government to be vaccinated. Governor Ivey, who has been a vocal supporter of the vaccine, said the president missed the mark on his issuing of mandates. From a statement by the governor, quote, His outrageous, overreaching mandates will no doubt be challenged in the courts, placing more burdens on both employers and employees during a pandemic with the rising inflation rates and lingering labor shortages is totally unacceptable, end quote. Alabama passed a vaccination milestone recently. We're now over 50% for people getting at least one dose of a vaccine. That includes people who have had their first and are waiting to get their second shot, people who are fully vaccinated, and I suppose people who decided to be one and done. And getting to 50.7% has put us at 8th lowest on the list of states. That's through September 8th. 39.4% of Alabamians are fully vaccinated. A court case was settled when the state of Alabama agreed to allow a condemned inmate to hold his pastor's hand as he receives lethal injection, reports the Associated Press. Willie Smith had requested to have his pastor present during his execution scheduled for next month. Court documents show that a spiritual advisor can anoint the inmate's head with oil, pray with the inmate, hold the inmate's hand at the beginning of the execution, and be present in the executive chamber until the curtains to the witness rooms are closed. Smith's on death row for kidnapping and murdering 22-year-old Sharma Ruth Johnson in 1991 in Birmingham. The first black Auburn University student has passed away, reports AL.com's William Thornton. Harold Franklin began pursuing a master's degree at Auburn in 1964. Franklin had served in the Air Force during the Korean War. He graduated from Alabama State College in 1962. At Auburn, he had his master's thesis rejected multiple times, so he got a master's at the University of Denver and taught for nearly three decades at Alabama State, North Carolina A&T State, the Tuskegee Institute, and Talladega College. Auburn awarded him an honorary doctorate in 2001 and had a historical marker dedicated to him on campus in 2015. And he successfully defended his master's thesis in February 2020 and participated in Auburn's commencement this past December. Harold Franklin was 88 years old. I appreciate y'all taking the time to listen. You know, I'm sure we'll all spend some time this weekend reflecting on the 20th anniversary of the September 11 terrorist attacks. We'll remember the thing everybody points out, how most people were able to put their differences aside for a while and stand by one another. We'll also remember the good guys. We may not always agree on who the good guys are, but shortly after September 11, 2001, we knew who the good guys were. They ran into buildings. They took a plane back from the bad guys. They enlisted. They comforted. They cried, and they promised to never forget. You and I may not agree on economics or abortion or how effective a mask is at blocking a virus, and those are important things, but I do believe we can both still be the good guys if we keep working at it, and we have an awful lot to live up to. We'll do this again on Monday. We hope you join us. Until then, stop by and see us whenever you can on the internet at al.com. Thank you.